Okay, I've literally had it <laughs> with all the people saying, you know, I'm going to vote for Trump because Trump gave me that stimmy. I'm going to explain this one time more. Trump did not give you a stimmy. And I'm going to explain to you how he could not possibly have done so. Observe. Welcome to the Constitution. You see this right here? This is Article 1, Section 8, Clause 1 of the Constitution. I'm going to read it to you. The Congress shall have power to lay and collect taxes, duties, imposts, and excises to pay the debts and provide for the common defense and general welfare of the United States. But all duties, imposts, and excises shall be uniform throughout the United States. Now, okay, that is written in old 18th century ease. Let me just tell you what it means in regular modern English. It means the House pays the bills. The House of Representatives is the only entity in the government that can send money out. They are the bill-paying entity in the United States. Not the Senate, not the Supreme Court, and not the President. The President cannot send money to you. Only the House of Representatives can initiate spending. Let me read it to you. The House of Representatives must begin the process when it comes to raising and spending money. It is the chamber where all taxing and spending bills start. The Senate can offer changes and ultimately approve the bills before they go to the president. But only the House, only the House can introduce bills that involve spending and taxes. So literally, only the House could have sent you that money. And who was controlling the House during the pandemic when Donald Trump was golfing and lying about it being airborne and letting a million people die. Nancy, Nancy Pelosi was in charge of the only entity in the federal government that can send out money, including stimmies. Donald Trump cannot have and did not send you a stimmy. Nancy did. Nancy Pelosi. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Oh, and let me just add that Donald Trump actually delayed the STEMI because he used his executive powers to hold it up and slow it down so he could put a personal letter in the envelopes that went with the STEMI checks so he could act like he's the one who sent the money. And now people act like he spent the money. He sent the money out of his own personal bank account, which he couldn't have done because he's not even really a billionaire. That's also a lie. Wake up and please vote. Have a nice day.